Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy X7Booing, bringing you back here today with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about some juicy drama happening in the community, bro. If anyone knows Sin Zero, he is always posting to his YouTube channel like the thing is a Facebook, bro. All he does is rant and rant and rant, and now he's obsessed with this girl named, uh, Kusha, I think it is. Oh, my bad, her name is Kushina. Now, I always thought Sin Zero was, uh, the good guy, and I never really knew what was going on until... Well, I always thought he was a little weird, too, and some of the stuff he would post and some of the stuff he would say, and he'd always just rant, and I don't know. He never really just played the game and had fun and post videos like all of us other YouTubers. It was always some weird stuff, you know what I mean, bro? So, he's kind of good at manipulating people like that and painting what picture he wants you to see. Well, he's been harassing this girl, and... He won't leave her alone, and she doesn't want anything to do with him, bro. He, She rejected him, like, a month and a half ago, and he's still just making videos. He's so sorry he deleted all of his channel, all of his videos off his channel. My bad, bro. I can't even speak. I'm coming home from work and making this video right after work, bro, and I just don't know. This stuff is crazy. Some of the screenshots we're going to get into and the stuff he has sent is crazy bro and the dude writes me on ps4 he writes me paragraphs as well which i'll be showing you in this video at the end so stay tuned if you want to see what sin zero has to say to me and messages which i've only ever messaged this dude like once before and it was a while back and ever since then before he got all weird he's just been blowing me up and blowing me up and blowing me up now for you guys who don't know sin zero the backstory really is that this girl found his channel and uh, commented on his channel, was all like, hey, what's up? So apparently he flirted with her or whatever in the comments and then sh they added each other, which you're not going to be able to find any of this anymore because he deleted every video. And months go by and apparently they end up dating for like three days and she felt forced into dating him and peer pressured and all that type of stuff. So she ended up breaking up with him because he was sending her a bunch of weird stuff and being weird and basically trying to control her and tell her what she can and can't do and who she can talk to and this that and the other i don't even know half the people involved with this bro i stick to myself i make my videos but when i see someone getting harassed day in and day out bro i feel like i gotta do something and i wasn't even aware of how bad it was until uh Blue Jay made his video, which I will be leaving a link into the description for. Oh, and as well, Sin, I got some uh, suicidal help and uh, mental awareness, mental health awareness uh, links in the description as well for you. So if you need help, bro, just go get help. Like, why are you letting this ruin your life? We can tell by the way you sound, bro, and the way you are that you really do need to go seek out help. Like, here, I'm going to throw in this clip, bro. And listen to how he sounds. Listen to the anger. Listen to what's in his voice, man. He just sounds so depressed. Where is you? Love you all. Take care. Love you, tush, tush. <laughs> oh, and haters adores me. I sin. I want. I feel for you, bro. And I want you to go get some help. But there's no reason you should be wanting to get with a 19-year-old girl, bro, at 35 years old. And in today's stream that he made today, he was saying he was 50. I don't know. I think the dude may be on drugs or he may be getting high, bro. Because he just spews off random stuff on YouTube and uses YouTube like it's his diary, bro. Like he's a little girl writing in his diary bef like after school about how his day went. Dear diary like no one cares bro make your threes videos move on and if you can't move on dude then maybe it's best that you just leave the community go find something else to play and find a different hobby bro because you're not like welcome here no one no one really fucks with you bro we only watch you because you're always doing some random weird shit. And the fact that you even think you're on me or Honcho Superstar's level is just mind-boggling, bro. You ain't on our level. You ain't on almost 60 to 70% of the YouTubers for this game's level. There's smaller YouTubers out there who make better content than you, bro. Like, if you really had great content and people really cared, you would have more than 400 subscribers. 
and that's no hate maybe try refreshing your image or whatever bro but this stuff and this simp and stuff you kind of just killed it bro because ain't no one vibing with you ain't no one wanna be a fan or be a subscriber to someone who's gonna go like try to force a girl to be with him that don't even want to be with him over youtube videos bro move on quit talking about it get over it find someone your age like your daughter is what 15 is what i've been told and she's 19 bro that's only like four years difference you could almost be her dad and you're hitting her up that's crazy to me I mean, and personally, as I'm 21 years old, I know some people probably won't believe it. I know I look young for my age, but if you go back, I did face reveals and stuff. I don't like being on camera much when I film. I'm weird about that stuff, but I'm 21 years old, bro, and I would not want to be with no 35-year-old woman. I asked my 21-year-old girlfriend if she would want to be with a 35-year-old man. She said no. She would not want to be with no 35 year old man. So I don't get where you get the delusion that this girl would want anything to do with you anyway, man. She just trying to play three on three. <laughs> but now we're going to get into the DMs that Kushina, the girl that we're talking about, and he's stalking and won't leave alone. Uh, we're going to get into the DMs between him and her that she had sent to me. You know, it's hard to find any content of this dude or anything around because he just deleted it all. Like crazy, huh? But we're going to get into him. I'm going to throw him up on the screen. We're going to get into this first one. He said, but why is he so important? She said, what? He said, well, because aren't you listening? Your feelings matter, but mine don't. How on earth can you still talk to Tim? You think I'm fine with that? No, so it comes out we at weird times, and I'll never be fine with that. So, yeah, you got to make some choices here. And for the record, I've masturbated to your photos. Uh, um, I'd hope there's a difference between me and somebody who is, well, me or him, simple. So, basically... He's trying to say that she can't talk to this dude. She can't have nothing to do with him. It's him or her simple. And I don't know where he masturbated that her photos comes into it, dude. Like, you think that's going to make uh, her choose you? Like, oh, this guy's masturbated my photos. Yep, let me go uh, pick him now. Like, bro, that's not how you get girls, bro. That's not how it works. Like, yeah, this guy uh, whacked, his, whacked his willy to my photos. Now I'm going to go definitely date him and like him. Like, bro, that's how you get friend zoned it so quick. You don't tell a girl that. Mr. knows how to get women but can't even get a girl. Like, bro, you do not tell a girl that type of stuff. Like, are you crazy? But let's move on to the next screenshot that I got here. He said... I want to say a bunch of things, shit, I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter, go show the world because it doesn't matter, at this point people are insane and will discuss everything, oh if it's not I'm a pedophile I must be gay, now I ain't never heard no one say that bro, or anybody ever say that, you definitely do give pedophile vibes with these messages, and you trying to hook up with a 19 year old at 35, like bruh, Get your 90 pound self out of here, bro. <laughs> like, bro, you all seen the weight on that man? Bro, he's built like a toothpick. But anyway, back to the message. He said, but yeah, you make my cock rock hard. And you don't even know what this white boy has. <laughs> I know you'd fall over from surprise. They always do. Bro. Yo, yo, this man, yo, this is some pedo shit, bro, I'm just saying, like, you make my cock rock hard. Are you a pedophile? Like, bro, calm down, yo. Yo. You knew, you thought this wasn't gonna get out there? You can't do this, bro, as a three-on-three -three YouTuber, you're stupid. You think you can just text, text baddies in this small of a community and you ain't gonna get exposed? Like, this dude's over here. Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake and then go back home. Uh, he's trying to get laid. On to the next screenshot, bruh. Don't be dumb. You know what you're dealing with. Pedophile. LOL. Nope. I'm far worse. Like, bruh! But this dude is literally admitting to being a pedo. Like, are you kidding me? Like, and, I, and I'm almost certain these screenshots are real, bro. Just the way he's typing, you can tell it's sin. The dude can't even spell correctly. If you look at any of his posts, the dude can barely write a sentence. But honestly, sin, I don't know a lot about this situation. I don't know a lot about it at all. 
I just got what Kush has told me and what Bluebird said in his video. So at the end of the day, bro, this is what we got to base it off. And if you can't prove innocence, bro, I don't know what to tell you. But we do really want you to get some help, bro. You need to seek out help. You need to seek out mental health. You need to get uh, your health, mental health right and see why you want to sleep with such younger women, bro. Because it's just not normal. I met my girl uh, at school and we grew up together like every other normal person. You meet your girl in the real world around your age, you know. Two, three, four years, you know, you're all right, bro. You, you, you're out of the ballpark, bro. You want your wife to bury you, bro? Yeah, but seriously, since seek out help, like I said, I got, I'll have links to mental health stuff in the description. I'll have a hotline number up on the screen again. I really hope you find the help you need, bro, and just let this go, bro, and go get help because I can tell, bro, you're a broken man right now. Yo, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We ain't gonna do videos like this a lot because this ain't my style of content. And I just make 3 on 3 content and I have fun, bro. And that's what I feel like every other 3 on 3 YouTuber should do. You shouldn't, like, worry about all these girls and just, like, dude, do you make your content. Get your girls outside of 3 on 3. Like, but again, bro, make sure uh, you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.